Hello and welcome back to Diablo 3 Rise of the Necromancer. We're playing this again on Master Difficulty. We're continuing from where we left off. Uh, in between recordings I have done a bit of grinding, got a few more skills which I'm about to go through. I haven't actually had a look at them myself. Uh, got a bit better gear so we're not dying as often now. We actually found uh, the most common legendary that you can find, I swear, the Oryx Crown. But it's still pretty good early game for you. So, uh, As you can see... We are actually surrounded by our posse of skeletons. You get seven of them, and they're pretty good. You can tell them to who you want to attack. But we've actually got some new ones that we've just got. So let's have a look. We've got ah, blood siphon. So what does this do then? Generates essence, siphon the blood from a target, dealing damage and healing us. Okay, so that's like heal as well. So that's pretty cool. We've got a new skeleton mage. We've got the gift of death. Risen mages leave a corpse behind when they die. Or expire. Oh, that's not bad. And we haven't actually showed off the death mode yet. And least you know that that damages all nearby enemies. We'll give that a check. New one for the corpse explosion. Bloody mess. Increase the size of the explosion. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. We can always change it back because that corpse lance is incredibly helpful. And these are all the things we can eventually command. We can command golems. Army of the dead summons a massive army of death pummel the target location. All corpses skills. Wow. So y you get some pretty good skills, and we've also reached the point where we start getting per passive skills as well. I've done the one where it's when we use the corpses, we get a 20 percent chance of a health globe, because that seemed a lot more useful. The other one gives you a speed boost, which can stack up to, I believe, 10 times. Well, okay, that does look awesome. Ah, oh, the Blood Siphon might be like a constant attack. But we're on our way to find the Cemetery of the Forgotten... Uh, Forsaken, sorry, in the Weeping Hollow. This is where I've just been grinding a second ago. So, hopefully it's not too bad around here. We've got a few more levels, so we're not going to be dying all the time. Not that we were dying all the time last time. Oh, it's a bit of Forgotten. Huh. Never know, there might be better than one we got on. I missed that. They're a lot better than what we got on. Oh yeah, have them. There we go. So we should be doing a hell of a lot more damage now. It's been a while since I've done like, a magic class. I've been doing a lot of the uh, fighty classes. Well, whoa! How much gold was in that tree? As you can see, the bloody hell! Oh wow, they do a lot bigger explosion actually. The uh, corpses now. The skeletons are great, they just go along. Okay, the explosion is incredibly overpowered. <laughs> Interesting opponent. Ah. Great. Straight away we get a rare bastard. No, wrong one. Uh It's not too bad at the moment. Oh, we do a fair amount of damage now. And it does heal us every time we hit him as well, so it's not worse. Oh, these explosions are so helpful. Oh. Oh. So satisfying. Oh, the hell, the blood typhon is incredible. So the Necromancer with the right gear and the right builds and stuff is pretty damn powerful. With like bordering on OP actually. Like I I'd probably still say the at the moment I'd feel the Crusader is a bit more overpowered, but I I'm not sure because the skeletons are doing work, like everything else is doing work. This explosion, like you can you can do a lot of damage with this. Whew. Adventure? Anything? No. Well, up? Blood corpses. There you go. As you can see, like there's the skill. Oh, it heals when I get blood orbs as well. It heals the skeletons. I didn't know that. See, I'm still learning along with you guys. This is a uh, blind playthrough with the necromancer. God, that's so overpowered. And if you fight, you can tell your skeletons to focus on when they get an attack boost as well. Oh. oh, wow, these are great. 
I still feel like bone spikes are probably a bit more useful, but but the heel wing is a very nice touch. We got that ring, didn't we? Might as well put it on, increase our intelligence a bit. Makes that bit more powerful. Uh, yeah, why not? No crap, but we can get something else. It's just for the armor value at the moment, to be honest. I think we're going the right way. Frenzy try. Why not? I think that increases our attack speed. Jeez. Not that we need our attack speed increased any further. The skeletons are really good as well. Like, I haven't tried combining them with a the skeletal mage. Like, we could try out our new skeletal mage, I guess. Like, try out a few of the other things. Uh, what was the other new thing? Bloody mess, that was fine. There was another new one, wasn't there? Than this? No. I think that was it actually. That might have been it. There you go. With the, with the skeletal mages as well. Oh, they leave us a nice corpse behind so we can do that. Oh. Bloody hell. You can do so much damage. Like, so much damage as a necromancer once you've got. Like, once you got, like, the beginning gear you start with, as well, it's always awful. Like, it's always just basic crap. Not enough. But, it's n I feel that it's even worse with the Necromancer, because once you get semi decent gear, like, I wouldn't say I've got amazing gear at the moment. Like, the, the helm is good. Like, it's a legendary, and it's probably one of the easier legendaries to find in this game. Once again, shite loads of gold. But compared to some of the other legendaries, it's not as good. But I think that it's most OP trait in the legendary. Well, you know, I, I'm confident enough just to go in my adventure and leave the skeletons still with it at this moment in time. This gives you 75% on the gems, and I had a few gems spare, which reduces the resource costs. So I thought I'd do that, so it enables us to be a bit more of a spam our abilities, so we can happily just go along and you know explode all corpses like that. See, everything is just like doesn't stand a chance. Like regular enemies are fine now. Even like the slightly harder enemies, we didn't struggle too much with compared to last time. Like with the, I don't know if you watched the last episode, but if you did, the carrion bats, you may remember we had a bit of an issue with them. Ah, here we are. This is where we're, this is where we're meant to be. Why do I feel like I could have taken this waypoint the entire time? This isn't the way back into the... Oh, no, it's the... Oh, I'm not where I thought I was. During the last days of King Leoric's reign... <sighs> now, this is where I got to find the right tomb, isn't it? Dead could not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath. Though wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a twisted cleverness that makes them quite formidable. Oh, no, ghosts! Ugh. Oh. They don't stand a chance. They can't even get to me. I need to be attacking to get my uh, essence back, but I really don't feel like it's necessary for me to be attacking. Ah, there we are. Skeleton wars. See, if I focus on them like that, they will rush into one thing and they just destroy them. I feel like we need the skeleton wages too much, but it's nice to have them because they look incredibly cool. Like, just look at that. Like, they don't stand a bloody chance. Even the, even like the uh, grotesques just fall so quickly. We were having a little bit of trouble with them last night. I, I'm feeling a lot more confident with the necromancer now. And as you can see, I have not reduced the difficulty. When, when we reach the high enough level, I think we, if we can, we will increase it. Try and beat this on, I can't remember what the mode's called, but the, the extra super hard mode. But the uh, the skills are brilliant, although I think I am going to change 
I do love the corpse explosion, but corpse lamps just seems so much better. I can't wait to get the shredding splinter skill. Slows the target and reduces and reduces its damage. Each lance slows the target and reduces its damage. Does that mean the target or the lance? It's not. It's not explained greatly, is it? Oh. You know, I'll leave the skeleton mage on actually. I quite like the skeleton mage. Yeah, we did get another room for our great scythe, but once again, I did the great scythe. Maybe some of its later runes make it a lot better, but at this current moment in time, it's my least favourite of the necromancer skills. Has me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, command go. Okay, so we can change up our summon already. That was quite quick, actually. So, right up. raise flesh golems to fight for you. Let's have a look. How many golems do we get? Do we only get the one? Holy crap, it looks amazing. What's our active skill? Active, command the golem to target where it collapses into a, into a pile of usable corpses. Oh, okay, so if I need corpses, I can just activate it and then he'll become corpses for me. Whoa, he does a lot of damage. And we can just spill into our own. Oh. Ah! We're making it through! And they're making it through! Man, the golem's awesome! Ah. You never find the right one the first time. Usually there is like a chest or something you can grab. Hmm. Huh. That golem's massive. And disgusting at the same time, because like, can we zoom in on him? Not really. We'll go up here, see if we can Oh! Whoa! I forgot the mortar enemies are like a bit haphazard and crazy. So if I activate him, he's just gonna, yeah, he's come corpses, and then we can just spam them. Ah, oh, he's already back. Oh DL. Make short work of them. I do wish the skeletal mages would hang about a little bit longer. They do seem to disappear very quickly. But I suppose that's to be, uh, I suppose that's to be expected. Like, if you could have them around, because they are quite strong as well. But if they hang around too long, they should probably have like an upkeep cost for them, maybe, rather than how much to summon them for a short period of time. Maybe that would make them a bit more balanced, maybe a bit more fun as well. They're still good. They're still very, very good. I can't wait to get a little bit further into this, where we start getting the crazy runes and the crazy abilities. Yeah, we'll go to the entrance of the dungeon. Flesh golem. So let's have a look. What? Ah, got a new um, new bone spikes one. What's this one do? Bone pillars. Instead, instead strikes the target up into both nearby enemies. Large. Let's have a look at that. That, that sounds interesting. Whoa. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, that's interesting. We'll, we'll give that a go. I see. Like, that could be good. What's this? Protection shrine. Bit more defense. Why not? I wonder if the golem shares that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so you attack one, but then it just like kind of spreads from there out. I want to see that? Ah, there we go. I was just about to say I want to see what this is like with a large group. It's alright. Does a lot more damage, I must admit that. Eh, it's okay. So we'll try it out a little bit longer, see how it goes. But I'm not too sure. Oh, there, there's the shot. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to pick them up. Oh, we can always break them down or sell them for a little bit of money. You level up so quickly on Master Difficulty. 
Oh, we've got a new uh, active skill category. What's this? Okay, so. Decrepify. A crippling curse that reduces the enemy using its movement speed and damage done. Do I have to target them? Or is it. Oh, it's an area one. Pretty cool. Uh. So if I do that, they slow down and they do less damage. Gah. The Necromancer is up. I, like, I would not want to come up against one because they seem quite a pain in the arse. Are those boots any better? Yes, yes they are. Not amazing for me, but they're better th for armour. See, it just does that, and then we can also get leech later and frailty. It's pretty cool actually, the frailty. Ah, corpse lance, finally, training splinters. We'll try that, see what that looks like. We've got a new passive skill. What's that do? Stand alone. Increase armour by 100% and reduce by 10% for each active minion. Oh, so for only one minion, so like the flesh golem, we can have more. I do prefer the life one still because it doesn't reduce my armour, but that's pretty cool for if you do like if you don't want to do the summon the summoning side of it. Ah! I can have more. I can have more mages. Ah, oh, you only used to be I have three. I was only summoning three because I thought that's all I could have. Okay, the the bone spears, the what is it called? The corpse lance, that's it. A great like I can see why you need a non renewable resource like the bodies for that, that's like a temporary resource. Because if you could just spam that, like you can spam it pretty well. If you could spam it more than you already could, that would be incredibly overpowered. Oh, hello. Have they now? Return my bones so that we may rest in peace. Yeah, doesn't sound too hard. Ah, oh, they're not even far away from each other. Yeah. Oh, I'll leave you to deal with them. Oh, oh, are we just gonna? Are we just summoning more and more each time? Or are they the same ones? I don't. There's, we're summoning more and more. Oh, wow, well, I, I may have made a mistake. Eat spikes. Oh, wow. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wow, I, I made a... Uh, I made a bit of a mistake just rushing through that. <laughs> Can I change my skills here? Can I run down here and change my skills quickly? Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I'll keep that. Oh shit, no. Ah, kill him! Kill him! I shouldn't have done this the way I did it. Mistakes have been made. There we go. Whew. Archer's core, long staff, yeah. Axe of wounding. Not really anything I want. Good amount of XP though. Loads of corpses here. I'm afraid not. Eat spikes. I must have a corpse. Three, four, five? Oh. We can have five. Maybe I can have as many as I like and I just haven't realised. Skeletal mages are pretty good, they do a lot of damage. But not as much as that. Oh! There's a treasure goblin nearby. You know what? I do want to change actually if I am going to be fighting treasure goblins. 
I'm gonna change my skill, thank you. I want that's the wrong one. I wanna change my golem to that. Because I came across one. Fuck's sake, bloody imps. Fuck off. Fuck off. Leave me alone. <laughs> I want to try and do something. That's the wrong one. There you go. I like the skeletons back. I actually prefer the skeletons a bit. Like the the corpse is good, but I like being able to focus who I want to focus. Three, four. And as you can see, you can just walk along and they will just resummon themselves. Doesn't cost anything to summon them either. It costs to use their abilities, but it doesn't cost to summon them. I know. Is he already fucked off? Ah, I might have already fucked off. Whoa! Okay. Kill these damn imps because they are going to be annoying. What the hell? Oh, the molten ones explode, don't they? So, I don't want to stand too near them. There! Ah. So I stand right next to them. I say I'm not going to stand near him, I stand right next to it. Spamming, clicking is probably all you can hear. <laughs> Luckily, there's so many corpses that I can just use that corpse thing as much as I like, really. Oh. I think I may have missed them. Um, if Mr. Treasure Goblin I might have uh, aggroed him by accident, he's ran off. Which would be quite quite upsetting, really. But as I can't hear him, I'm assuming that is the case. Same chaffing, wouldn't it? Treasure Goblin. Uh, there, it's escaped. Bastard. Oop. <laughs> That's how lazy you can be with a Necromancer. You can just stand there and leave it to like, your skeletons and that lot. Bit of a ah, bit of extra running speed. Why not? The skeletons do have do do a good job of keeping up with you as well. Whoa! I don't know if this is like a mini boss enemy or if it's just a special boss enemy. Holy shit! That hurts. I can't see what's going on. Let's focus him a bit, shall we? Uh, oh. Ah. Go on, you bastards. Oh, it's horrible in this corner. Have we killed him yet? Nope, we haven't. There we go. Little bit, little bit of the lag on that bit. For some reason, our uh, our latency has gone fucking awful. Ugh. After all that, wasn't even the right bloody place. Uh, we don't need that. We'll save that for when we need it. Apparently we got, well, we got a lot of shit. Don't really want that. Don't really want that. That looks awesome, but not good for me. Uh, yeah, we'll put that on. Not overly fussed by toughness. Ah, even more intelligence. Yeah, plenty of intelligence things. So we are going to be doing absolutely mega tons of damage soon. Do we change the bone spikes? I feel like the siphon blood, the blood siphon thing was a lot better at the moment than that version of the bone spikes. Like I did like the stun one, the stun one was very useful but now we're actually able to do damage I don't feel it's necessary. It's like that, I could just 
put up every put up my wall of defence and then just siphon their health away from back here. And then just use the rest of the corpses to take out the rest of us. Oh, they're coming. Boom. I'm leveling up loads. Whoa. Yes, jeez, just try and kill some of these. Ah, oh, I'm frozen. Jeez, these are nasty. Oh, bloody hell, these aren't easy. Save me! God damn it, kill that one. Ah. It's going crazy. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Jeez, you died again. We're dying quite a bit on this one. Like some of the enemies, are pretty damn hard on this one. Not gonna lie. Shit. Stop. Just die, please. Damn it! <laughs> Luckily, when I use corpses, I get that chance of getting the healy orbs. I'd like to repair my gear as well sometimes. Too. There you are. That's the main one. Just spamming with spikes. Oh! Okay, some of the uh, super rare enemies are still pretty damn hard. Come on. There we go. We did ding, so we got some enforcer. What do they do? Reduce the cost of the command. Oh, is that it? Just reduces the cost. Of them. Oh. Could be worse. Oh. Contamination. Raise a contaminated mage that cha channels an aura of decay. That sounds really cool. Nice. Ah, oh, okay. So. Oh, I see. So you kind of just... Oh, that's, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. I can live with that one. Whew. I think this is the right place, though, because it, it seems like there's a lot more work that's went into this one. So if I do that, and just... That works. And then... Okay, that's okay. I oh, see. I can gauge how much better we were than last time just off of how quickly we can kill the, these like hungry corpses now. Because before we seriously struggled with them. Wretching cadaver. They do have some really disgusting names in this. Go, my pretties, go. Oh, I can oh, I can have up to like six of them at once, so they can do a lot of damage. Although that does use a lot of my essence. Any good? No, you crap. Loads of stuff to sell when we get back. Which I'm gonna find something I actually want that I'm not gonna be able to carry it. I can always drop stuff, but I don't want to. That siphon blood is just too good. Ha! It's Fire Crypt level 2. The fact this has a level 2, it, you know, well, um, usually I would go back and have a look at things, but because we're trying to show off this character a little bit, we're not going to. But I feel like we're about to go into a boss hit. Oh, we are. Hello. Kill him. And now I can make him focus him, and then, Jesus. Wait, I know what we can do. Manglemore, you don't stand a bloody chance, mate. 
Wow. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> What was it we just picked up? Picked up something. The unbedded are formed from human corpses ah, that was it. flung into mass <laughs> graves without a proper burial. This hideous amalgamation of bodies decomposes together into one being. The unburied. By some foul magic. They are pretty cool, actually, the unburied. I could only plead for Well, they should give you more than one corpse, though. Any other sensible person to do the same. Anything in there? More silly stuff? But anyway, I think we will continue into the Chancellor's Tomb next time. So, I've been Tim Pumstein. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, showing off a bit more of the Necromancer, we've got to show off a lot more of the skills and a lot more of what he's capable of this time. Like, you can definitely see the massive increase on what he's, what he's like on this. But, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, maybe pick up the DLC if it's for you. Uh, if you like what you've seen on my channel, please remember to either like and subscribe, and I'll keep these coming out for you guys. Anyway, catch you next time. Bye.